Abdul Aziz Naibi Abubakar, the CEO of the article The Light Organization, has made a bold prediction regarding the political landscape of Nigeria in the upcoming 2027 elections. In a recent tweet from his verified Twitter account, Abubakar stated, The gang of Tinubu we face in 2027 will be 10 times bigger than what good luck Ibede Jonathan faced in 2015. The statement has sparked considerable discussion among political analysts and the general public alike, reflecting on the challenges that President Bola Metinumbu may encounter in his bid for re election. The comparison to former President Golok Jonathan's experience in 2015 is particularly notable. Jonathan will face significant opposition from various political factions ultimately lost the presidency to Muhammadu Buhari in an election marked by high tensions and widespread dissatisfaction with his administration. Abubakar's assertion suggests that the opposition against Tinumbu will be even more formidable. Tinumbu, who assumed office in 2023, has faced criticism and controversy during his tenure. Issues such as economic instability, insecurity, and corruption have plagued his administration, potentially fueling the opposition's resolve to unseat him. <laughs> okay. It's not because uh, anybody hates Tinubu, but because Tinubu himself hates Nigeria and Nigerians. Because if he lost Nigeria, this is the person who has been planning to become president for God knows when. And he came and is now doing worse than even those who were there when he himself was accusing and calling protest against them. He ought to have known better. But unfortunately, we could see that uh, all the things that uh, he was saying after that time was just a deceit for him to, to gain power. Not that he even gained the power because the manner at which he came in was not even a clear case. One good thing is that anybody can come and argue anything, but the question is that what are you experiencing? Tell yourself the truth. Tell yourself the truth. If you fail to tell yourself the truth, the situation will force you to, to tell yourself the truth. It is obvious and evident enough. And whatsoever, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. The Tinubu not hear that Joe Biden has quit from U.S. presidential race, what is he still waiting for? That he has not resigned. What is happening now is what happened when your intention is to call president of Nigeria. I believe that a northern northerners won't even want Nigeria to break up just like that. Northerners spent eight years and southern now we also spend eight good years. What is good for the goose is good for the ganders. You see this uh, Agbadu person. So just for it, Tinubu can be there because you want to secure Tinubu. What is Tinubu uh, looking for? You that you are suffering. Your suffering is not paramount to you. It's not important to you. But the ambition of somebody just to become president. And even if he's going to collapse the whole country. So far he spends his eight years. That is exactly what he say. Uh, if Lefu is talking about. Oga, we are not talking about games here. Or tribe and religion. Nigerians now have a common enemy. Which is hardship. Abi, you know, reach your side. He reach his side now, but he no care. If, if, even if you buy in the process, he no care. But if you don't care, other, others care. Look at this uh, a jobless Yahoo drug failures. Who said to who is going to be on the thrones? All they said was replacement. It is known to the game, cranny, and no, every nook and cranny of political displays that leads him to suffer Nigerians through the first game of a restructuring is why Nigeria is not Lagos and it shows itself now that uh, only the knowledge of Lagos he got and Nigeria is too big for him. Which Lagos said, uh, what did he even do Lagos? Making life uncomfortable. Did he win the, in Lagos? He didn't win in Lagos. That is to tell you that all the nonsense he was doing and the people he was bringing was to the detriment of the people and to the betterment of himself and his cronies. Telling us that uh, maybe he knows better about uh, Lagos. He knows nothing. The people are just there suffering and smiling. And that is exactly what they are still doing. They are still suffering. They know the, the, the stuff Tinubu himself is made of. But they still just want to, to be, God forbid, batting. If you be my mother, if you be my father, you do wait till no day in line. I will clear you. God forbid, batting.
What kind of a people are these? Where somebody believes that if you overcome them with ease, please save your energy from matters that won't profit you. They not you know that the price of what they did to Jonathan in the name of gang up is what they are paying today. He earlier did not stop ganging up against people that are trying their best to see what they can do to build the country that has decayed economically the better for all of us it is not easy to build it takes time mistakes can be made in the process but that does not call for the not gang up instead of instead all hands must be should be on deck it's still even helping himself because like i said this whole thing, I know you, you know, it's not as deep as the way Evo Tinubu and his people are making it. What did they inside? They are doing wrong things. Instead of them to own up, instead of them to make adjustment, they don't want to make adjustment. They are telling you to sacrifice, but they are not sacrificing. And you want that, want people to understand. No, it's not going to happen. It will not happen. I wonder why some citizens of this nation don't even have respect for one another. We take insults as a way of removing pain. If someone talk, they will insult. If someone comments, they will insult. What's really happening? Let me sound this warning. Any attempt or gang up against a Tinubu will lead to end of Nigeria. So, what did they take the Nigeria? They do. No, what did the Nigeria they do for you? I don't understand. I'm not getting it. What is the Nigeria doing for you? Look, it's just for you to be there and you will be suffering. Tinubu and Jonathan are not the same. Nobody can remove Tinubu in 2027. Tinubu won the 2023 election without the help of Buhari and Presidency Minister. Who told you? <laughs> you think uh, if a uh, if uh, what is it called? If Buhari had not allowed uh, a INEC to do what he has to do, all these uh, Aero five people not be there. Uh, uh, Tinubu. This one is a joke. First, pray that God spare your life to then and beyond before. You start to so that planning for is down for well he's not planning down for it's Tinubu that has planned down for himself he knows the right thing to do he knows the right court to strike and things will be okay but he said no 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 i will do anything i like and everyone will not fall if you don't like it go to court that is the attitude of Tinubu. how can somebody just wake up and say obi is the problem obi is the one instigating nigerians like seriously and you expect people to be uh, to sympathize with such a person it must be a wicked person it's only a wicked person that will see what is wrong and fails to address it so guys uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this thank you